Yeah, I'd say most days I end up sleeping at around 3 a.m. Hey everyone, it's Rishab, and today I'm interviewing my older brother who's a Harvard Medical School student. So let's hop onto Zoom and get this interview started. Hi, RJ's viewers. Hello. So can you introduce yourself, uh, where you are, and what you're studying? Sure. Well, my name is Aditya Jain. Uh, I'm a first year medical student at Harvard Medical School. Nice. Yeah. So can you give us a general idea of what type of work you have in med school and maybe an idea of what type of work you have apart from studying for classes? Sure. Um, well, at HMS, most days are structured to be pretty similar. Um, so I usually have class from 8 to 1230. And that sounds like a short time, but it's because we have a flipped classroom style model where in class we're doing cases and doing discussions and practice problems and asking deeper questions about the content. And then when we get home, we have um, about maybe four or five hours of prep work each day um, where we watch lectures, read book chapters and actually learn the material that we're going to discuss the next day. So that's most of the work um, for the classroom. And then, of course, there's quizzes and tests. And um, we have also a lot of patient interaction, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I noticed you mentioned the word home. Uh, where are you actually staying? Is there a specific place that all med students stay? Yeah. So I'm staying at um, Vanderbilt Hall. So that's the sort of dorm style um, life for medical students. And it's pretty popular here for first year medical students to stay in the dorm because, you know, we get to meet each other. Um, but uh, I may be moving out soon, so we'll see. Oh, okay. And on that subject of uh, the Harvard Med School campus, uh, what's something that you love about it? Hmm. Well, if I had to choose one thing, I would say it's the TMEC Auditorium. Um, you know, it's such a beautiful space. We have all this sunlight in the building, like huge windows, um, and we have a cafeteria right there. There's uh, a lot of walking and green spaces right outside. So it almost feels like everything is in one location. And um, even while we're studying, you know, we, we get to see like this beautiful green space and get all this natural light. Um, so I just feel like it's a great, you know, one stop hub for, for everything. So is that actually a place you go to study uh, pretty often? Yeah, I would say I studied there or the Countway Library. That's the other main location um, or back in my dorm. What was one memorable moment from this year? Ooh, I would say my favorite moment this year was when our class came together to make this Harvard Medical School music video. Um, and it was a medley of a couple of different famous songs like uh, Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo and uh, Industry Baby. And it was just an amazing experience because there's so much talent in our class. You know, we had people um, making these like professional music compilations and doing this great singing and all this cinematography and uh, dancing and all of that. And so it was really fun to, to be a part of that and to um, you know, play a role as an actor in the video. Um, and so I think that that was definitely the most memorable experience so far. OK, so what do you think is kind of a split between homework, studying for tests and your other work that you have? I would say that um, most of the time is spent in the homework because that's really what the core material is. And it's important that we understand that the tests themselves are more like pass fail. So usually when I'm studying for tests, it's more about memorizing the finer details. And most of the actual concepts and core material I learned from the day to day classes. So I'd say the majority of time is spent there. Uh, but then I also like to do a lot of things outside of the classroom. So, um, you know, I'd say it's probably, you know, 60 percent of my time is spent on schoolwork and 40 percent outside. What would you say is a big challenge of medical school or maybe even the biggest challenge? I would say that the biggest challenge is just the amount of material that we have to learn. Um, you know, Harvard is a one year preclinical uh, medical school. So we have basically 
all of the human body um, condensed into one year, um, you know, studying every organ system, putting it together in these diseases. And so it ends up being very fast paced. I think in college, you know, I would have sort of, you know, one class that had maybe a couple of main units um, across a semester, and then you'd have maybe four or five of those main classes. Versus in med school, it's almost like a new class every, you know, every two weeks with the amount of material that there is. Um, and then our units are much shorter. They're, uh, you know, each block is only a month or maybe two months. And so um, it just ends up being a lot of material. It's very fast paced. Um, but if you enjoy if you enjoy learning, if you enjoy this type of material, um, it, it's just a wonderful experience still. Wow. OK, I can tell now like why you're always so busy. Um, but now let's kind of move on to some of the more fun stuff. I know a lot of viewers wanted to, to ask a question. Do you kind of have time to relax, you know, work out, play instruments, do other chill and fun activities during the week? Yeah, I would say there's actually a lot of um, free time. Um, and so, you know, I spend a lot of time at the gym or um, playing instruments. I personally play guitar, and so I brought my guitar with me. But we also have these dedicated music rooms in Vanderbilt Hall where there's like a piano and stuff. Um, and then usually on weekends, there's always a bunch of social activities going on. Um, you know, even though it's Boston, there's still great places to hike. Um, and, you know, going out on the Charles River for a nice picnic. Um, so there's always, you know, fun things to do. And, and I find that, you know, our class has really gotten to know each other. Oh, OK. Uh, and now kind of for the question that everyone everyone's been waiting to hear about, uh, how many hours of sleep do you get a night? <laughs> oh, um, I would say that I probably get about four or five hours of sleep. But that's more on me because, you know, I enjoy doing all these things outside of school and I've never been a person who slept a lot anyway. So I usually don't get too much sleep during the weekdays. I try to make up a bit over the weekends, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> OK, I know I'm more personally like a morning lark a person who likes to like wake up a little bit earlier and then sleep a little bit um, earlier in the evening, would you consider yourself like a night owl or a morning lark? I would say I'm a night owl for sure. I still have to wake up fairly early because our classes are at eight. Um, and so I have to wake up before that. But I usually go to bed pretty late, um, maybe around 3 a.m. on most days. Oh, OK. Well, thank you for sharing all of that. Um, now let's get into some more questions about kind of uh, the personal reasons behind why you chose to to get involved in medicine and maybe some of your more personal career plans. Um, so do you have any advice for students considering a career in medicine? Yeah, I would say one thing that's um, really interesting about medicine as compared to many other careers is it's really a career where you have the opportunity um, to learn and to spend a lot of your time in that state of learning um, for a very long period of your life. You know, I, I think it, it ends up being, um, you know, you're not even done with your training until you're 30 or in your mid thirties. Um, and then even once you're a fully trained doctor, um, you know, I've heard from my professors that every day they still are learning, they're reading new papers, when coronavirus happened, um, you know, a lot of these doctors had to go back and, and really understand this disease. And so I'd say that if you're considering medicine, you really want to be someone who enjoys learning. Um, and then the other thing that I think is really important is uh, being someone who loves people. And I think that goes uh, beyond just, you know, wanting to make friends, but having a deep love for um, understanding people and, and getting to know people, because I think that's part of what keeps you going in medicine. And it's really the true reward at the end of all the work that you put in is, uh, you know, getting to spend time with patients, hear their often really interesting backgrounds and stories um, and get to help those people. So I think that uh, I think both of those things are really important in medicine. And if, if that sounds like something that you would enjoy or that sounds like you, then I would say it's a really wonderful profession. Wow, what a great answer. I think this is going to help a lot of people. And uh, more on that subject, 
would would you say that all of those reasons are are why you personally chose to study medicine about like learning and getting to interact with people? Yeah, I think that that's definitely a big reason for me. And I'd say one other thing for me is that I've always been someone who really loves science and um, that art of discovery and being able to use that science to be able to create tools and um, and uh, and help people with science. So for me, medicine was just it just felt like a natural fit. And uh, I really enjoy all, all the opportunities that we get to learn science as well as practice it. OK, um, so finally, what are your plans for after graduation? Do you know like where you'll be going or is that something uh, that still has to be fleshed out? Yeah, so um, so right now I'm just in my first year, so I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do, um, figure out what sort of specialty I want to do and all of those important questions. Um, but I think for now, I definitely plan to do residency after medical school. Um, I'm not sure which field it's going to be, but you know that'll probably take um, usually between three to seven years, depending on your field. Um, and then I'm really interested, as I mentioned, in science and research. Um, so I definitely want research to be a part of my career after that. Um, and, you know, I hope to be able to stay right here in Boston and, and hopefully stay at Harvard. It's kind of a joke here inside at HMS that, you know, our dean and a lot of our professors, they were studying at Harvard Medical School, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And then they went to residency here and then they did fellowship here. They did their job here and now they're professors here. And so I think that's really common. And, uh, you know, I think that that's something that I would definitely love to do because of all of the resources here, because of the people here, um, and even just the city and the environment is great too. Awesome. Um, is there any last like stories or anything you would want to share to the viewers? Hmm. Um, I guess I would just say that, uh, you know, Harvard, besides its name, of course, it's really a wonderful school because I think the way that they they teach and the way that they have their curriculum planned is very special. You know, one thing I didn't mention earlier is um, every week on Wednesdays since the beginning of the year, uh, I've had patient days where um, basically I work alongside a doctor um, at an outpatient setting or an inpatient setting. It rotates, um, but I, I work there and I learn how to interview patients and um, how to start to ask questions about symptoms and think about diagnoses and um, going through that whole practice of medicine. And that's something that we've been doing since since day one. And I know that at um, a lot of other schools and, and a lot of other systems, you don't really get to see patients that often until your second, third or fourth year. Um, so I think that that was one of the things that really drew me to HMS. Um, and I think that if you're considering medical schools in the future, um, if you're, you know, trying to decide between schools, I think that HMS is really wonderful for that reason, because you get that exposure early. And I think it really teaches you how to put all the theory and all the textbook knowledge into practice. Um, and the other part of it is also the flexibility here. I think that one thing that people don't really, really realize about medicine um, is how flexible of a profession it is. You know, there are people who graduate from HMS and they become, you know, amazing, wonderful doctors who are practicing every day. But there are also people here who graduate and they do, as I said, research or they start companies or uh, they figure out public health problems. And all of this is possible because you have that core knowledge from your medical degree. Um, so I'd say that, you know, for the viewers, um, I think that if you're interested, as I said, in learning and helping people, Medicine's a wonderful career. And from there, there's so much that you can do and so much to explore. And I think medicine is definitely going to change a lot in the next 10, 20 years. So, um, you know, we need people to come with their bright ideas. And, uh, you know, I hope to one day also be a part of that change. Well, thank you so much for your time. This has been a really awesome interview. I've learned a lot personally, and I'm sure the viewers who are watching this video agree with that. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad I could help. Hey everyone, it's Rishabh from the future here, and I just wanted to record this bit before the sun sets, but 
Thank you so much for watching. Go hit the subscribe button down below so you can get more content just like this. I'd be happy to ask my brother some more questions and waste some more of his time. So feel free to leave some questions down in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And with that, I will see you guys next time.